Today will be super volatile for Bitcoin because today is the day where the US inflation data is going to come out and even tomorrow on June the 14th we will have an FOMC meeting what will make the coming 48 hours extremely volatile for Bitcoin and these economic events lining up with the Bitcoin cup and handle pattern, the falling wedge and much more important patterns that are currently playing out are making the coming 48 hours extremely important to watch so I will give a brief update on my trade. I I will give more insights about what currently is going down with Bitcoin, the Bitcoin dominance altcoin. So make sure to watch this video till the end. It's going to be a super important one. Can we once again stop up the likes back above 500? That will be absolutely incredible. And with that of being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content. Of course, we do know we still created that CME gap on the price action of Bitcoin. And currently the CME gap is trading between 26.5k and 26.2k. I am still expecting the CME gap is going to get filled up over the course of this week here. And usually they tend to get filled up before the Wednesday. So we still got another 48 hours before we're probably going to be filling up the CME gap. I do expect there's going to be a lot of volatility happening today. Not only due to the fact that we do have this CME gap that currently is getting created but also due to the fact that we're creating these new patterns on the four hourly time frame you could even approach them on the one hour time frame the bitcoin is basically creating a new consolidation phase and we are expecting that this pattern is going to be breaking out anytime soon also if i will be looking at bitcoin we do know that in exactly four hours from now on also if i am looking at bitcoin right now we do not in exactly five hours from now on we will have the cpi data come out here and the cpi data is going to be giving massive volatility to market so first of all in exactly four hours from now on i will be live streaming this event on youtube so don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now because you will be then staying up to date about what is exactly going to be happening once the data comes out here and i can guarantee you one thing there's going to be a lot of volatility if i will be looking at the forecast we can currently see that the forecast is that the volatility is going to be set to be dropping by 0.8 percent what is absolutely massive and of course tomorrow we have got the fomc meeting and the fomc meeting interest rate decision will be based on where the inflation is going to come in at today so if the inflation comes in lower than expected the markets are most certainly going to be pumping like crazy or if it even comes in around 4.1 percent so at that level we're expecting it's already going to be bullish because that means that inflation is literally dropping year on year over one percent and that is very bullish of course it's going to be important to be looking at core inflation currently we can see that core inflation looks to be dropping by 0.2 percent it remains to be a little bit sticky but it is continuing to drop it's going to be important to see the core inflation come down as well because that is also a thing where the fed is really going to be looking at so that is of course still a thing to be paying attention towards here but we do know that there's just going to be a lot of volatility once the data comes out here and that is why i will be live streaming this event so don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now and enable the post notifications because then you will be getting notified once i'm jumping live on the channel because yes i will be literally jumping live once this inflation data is going to come out here so don't forget to subscribe right here furthermore we can see that we're creating the falling wedge pattern on bitcoin this pattern is set to be breaking out anytime soon here and to be very honest i do expect the breakout could be happening today here especially due to the fact that the inflation data is going to come out here and once the inflation data does come out we are usually going to see more volatility and if this pattern does decide to be breaking down or breaking up here we could be maybe seeing a breakout later today here of course for my trade still long on bitcoin i'm building up a long position here with only 5x leverage currently i'm 140,000 us dollar long on bitcoin and i'm planning to be building up this trade if bitcoin is going to drop today here due to the fact that the inflation is maybe not coming in positively i will be adding more margin here the levels that i would really like to be adding more margin is of course $25,000 and below here I'm not going to open up any trades between 25 7 and 25 so everything below $25,000 I'm going to add more margin towards my trade and I'm looking to be building up a million US dollar long position currently I'm long with 140k so I'm going to add even another 860,000 US dollars on this trading position right here and if you're actually trading or interested in swing trading yourself you could do so on bitget bitget allows you to trade without kyc without vpm and you can claim a deposit bonus up to fifty thousand dollars and if you sign up on a new account you can already claim a free fifteen dollars and you get free 20 percent discount on all your fees that you're making on the exchange for the first month so make sure to get an account be aware these interesting deals are only available if you sign up an account using the link in the description so go to the link description set up your 
account and start trading yourself. I mean, I do think that this is a good time to be opening up these swing trades because Bitcoin is right now at a very important stage in the market. You can see that we're retesting this very important level of support. And more importantly to say this, Bitcoin is right now at a very important decisive moment here. I mean, I've said it several times before. I think Bitcoin can still come down to $24,000 and it will remain to be staying bullish here. I mean, I literally flip bearish on Bitcoin on $31,000 and I flip bullish on Bitcoin on 25.7K. So right now, I mean, so far my buys have been absolutely perfect. Of course, I've been saying it. I will be bullish for Bitcoin. Also, if it goes down to $24,000 and it will remain to add more margin towards my trades because I think the range to accumulate right now is between $24,000 and $26,000. So that is exactly what I will continue to do here here so this is my approach here i think that this level is going to be for providing a significant amount of support for bitcoin you can see that we're currently retesting the inverse hand and shoulders on the daily time frame this is literally the retest of this neckline that we literally created so i think it's a big opportunity that we're currently looking at and of course especially the coming 48 hours are going to be extremely volatile so get ready for that here first we're going to have the cpi data after that the, we're going to have the fomc meeting and there's just going to be a lot of volatility and if we maybe see enough volatility we could start to be breaking out of the cup and handle pattern and that will be absolutely crazy because if we break out towards the upside of this pattern the price target is absolutely insane because it's around 53,000 US dollars and that will make of course a very crazy breakout pattern and that will be making a very crazy trade for me right now and this is also one of the many reasons why i'm opening up this swing trade right now because i do think there's a lot of potential upside from here on bitcoin and especially since bitcoin has been holding up so surprisingly well it looks to be that we could maybe have a soft, land soft landing right here the whole thing is only 280 days out here i'm starting to, starting to be building up trades here and it could be that i am going to hold this trade open for more than two years it could be but i'm building up this trade right now here i think this is a good range for accumulation and i'm preparing myself for the next bull run to make tons and tons of money from of the next hype cycle on bitcoin so that is exactly what i'm currently doing make sure to prepare yourself in your own way on the weekly time frame we can see bitcoin is retesting the weekly email ribbon and also we're retesting this very important horizontal support line here furthermore we can see that all coins are probably going to suffer i said this for quite a while right now here also if i do see this next move for bitcoin getting initiated i don't really think that all coins are going to be moving as strong as bitcoin i've said this several times before i think that bitcoin dominance is going to keep increasing here and i would not necessarily jump significantly into all coins i think all coins are still looking a little bit weak here and of course on the bigger perspective bitcoin is definitely not at a bad buying range right now it could still go lower but for the long term i think it's a good buying opportunity right here so that was it for me in today's update video make sure to subscribe to the channel right now here subscribe to the channel smash up the pal notification because exactly in four and a half hours from now on i'm going to jump live i'm going to tell you all about the next inflation data that's going to come out and maybe i'm going to do even more live trades and giveaways on that next stream that i will be doing here on my channel later today so subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye